Hi, I'm John Holland from the Bespoke Project. I'm the coordinator and I work for the Game Wildlife Conservation Trust in the UK. The Bespoke Project brings together 16 project partners from six countries across the North Sea region and includes the UK, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark and Sweden. Bespoke is funded by the European Regional Development Fund. The project started in 2019 and will end in 2023. During that time we want to encourage farmers across the region to plant more wildflower areas to increase pollinators on their farms. The project was set up because insect pollination is extremely important, being worth about 15 billion euros annually across Europe. Pollination can affect crop yield, quality and farm incomes. It is therefore important that we maintain the levels of insect pollinators and identify their value. However, many of the most important pollinators such as bumblebees, solitary bees and hoverflies have declined in recent decades. Across Europe there have been measures to provide extra habitats for pollinators through agro-environment schemes and other initiatives. These include creating wildflower strips, but these haven't been targeted at the types of bees needed by each crop type. Therefore, for the future we are developing a range of seed mixes to help reverse the declines in pollinators. These seed mixes will be targeted at the types of pollinators needed by each crop type. We are aiming to produce at least 14 different mixes to cover the range of different crops commonly found in the North Sea region. So how are we going to achieve our objectives in the Bespoke Project? We have already developed and sown new mixes and have established these at demonstration sites across the region. We will be evaluating how effective these mixtures are by increasing not only the levels and types of pollinators visiting the strips, but also whether they increase numbers within the crops, and whether this subsequently has an impact on crop yield and quality. We are developing protocols for these measurements, which in the end we hope farmers will be able to do themselves. Besides producing these guidelines along with videos, we will also be running training events across the region, and although delayed this year, we are hoping to have them running in 2021 until 2023. In the Bespoke project, we are also looking at how to provide resources for pollinators across the landscape. Two of the partners are constructing maps of the North Sea region to determine the likely levels of pollinators. These are based on the types of pollinators in the landscape and levels of pollinators they can support through provision of floral resources and nest sites. Such maps can be useful for farmers, land managers and policy makers to identify where extra habitats are needed. This can create more resilient and sustainable agroecosystems. If you'd like to learn more about Bespoke, then visit our Facebook page, Bespoke NSR, and our website, northsearegion.eu forward slash bespoke. On the website, we will make available all the guidelines that we produce, and there is already one on how to successfully establish perennial wildflower areas. Thank you very much for listening to this short video about the Bespoke project.